One question I want to understand, uh, as we see the government subsidies, they've been sort of scaling down. Uh, in the budget also we saw the allocation reduced. There was no uh, indication which was made uh, to either FAME 3 or any other kind of uh, subsidy addition. But at the same time, on the other hand, we see discounts increasing. Mm -hmm. uh, we've seen discounts coming from you, uh, ranging from about 15,000 15, to 25,000, 30,000 uh, across models. Uh, is there a problem that you've seen in this year when it comes to demand itself? Because A, you're reducing, uh, you're being given less subsidy, mm -hmm. but when prices should increase to that, mm -hmm. you're actually giving more discounts. So these are two different points, Yash, and I'll mm -hmm. answer both separately. Uh, let me first address the subsidy point. Mm. Uh, so on subsidies, there are uh, two different types of subsidies. There's mm. the FAME regime mm. and there's the PLI regime. Correct. And within PLIs, there are two PLIs. There's the EV manufacturing PLI and then there's the uh, cell manufacturing PLI. Mm. And we're the only company which has been selected for both PLIs, uh, EV and cell manufacturing. Mm. FAME, over the last two years, the government has been clear that they are going to taper it off. Mm. And we support that. Uh, and We've seen fame go from a per unit of almost 60,000 mm. uh, benefit to 10,000 now. Mm. And, uh, and I think that's the right thing uh, for the industry. And the industry has also responded by improving cost structures. Uh, and the industry continues to grow despite fame being reduced to this level. Correct. And the government has also indicated that there's a fame three on the horizon. Uh, budget, it was not there in the budget, but it is on the horizon, as the government has said. But maybe the allocation will be a similar amount per vehicle. Hmm. But the beauty is that uh, the industry is now more or less beyond the need for fame. Okay. Uh, so the, uh, the fame was a consumer subsidy. Hmm. Now the, uh, the regime is going from a consumption subsidy to a production incentive. Hmm. And that's where, again, we have a very strong uh, 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 access to both the PLIs. Hmm. So we are definitely uh, using the advantage we get through the two PLIs. But also, uh, uh, you know, uh, as we have also uh, continued to grow our technology and vertical uh, manufacturing integration, our cost of production has continued to uh, come down, and all mm. of this can be made out from the from the numbers we have shared in the in the book. In the book. And uh, looking ahead, now the second point you mentioned were discounts. Now okay. discounts are tactical; they mm. don't represent a structural scenario in the industry. Mm. Tactically, seasonality, etc., region specific, we keep doing some discounts, industry keeps doing discounts, and the whole auto industry beyond EVs also has their own discount schemes, basis Correct. monsoon, summer, blah, blah, blah. Correct. So that's a tactical thing which will continue, mm. uh, but broader, more structurally, I think we are less dependent on fame. The mm. whole industry is less dependent on fame. Uh, it's moved towards a PLI construct yeah. where we have the biggest advantage. Mm. And we've also invested in our technology and our vertical manufacturing to fundamentally reduce our cost structure. Hey, thank you for watching this on CNBC TV 18. Hope you liked it. For more such interesting news and updates, follow CNBC TV 18 on all the social media platforms.